classic WoW, all my level 60 on the Phoenix servers. Just, um, and I, I turned on all the music and stuff and I smoked some weed. And now, I mean, now that I haven't been smoking in forever, my tolerance has gone down. So I just have to smoke like a little bit of Keef and I'm blasted. So I did that and I just turned on all the WoW music and stuff and all the end game sound. And I, I just did a track. I did a whole trip through, uh, Eastern kingdoms from like booty Bay all the way to, uh, up north in like Tiras fall. And that was cool. I, I got to visit a lot of old places that I, uh, that I have some memories in. So hopefully I can do that. And hopefully it forces people to do that again. Um, he also asks, do you love me? Been a fan for a long time, but I don't, I don't stay on the same account long. I was the kid with the anxiety problem. If you remember specifically first time smoker, you probably get lots of messages about that, but whatever. If you remember, that's cool. Hope to see from you soon. Of course I love you, dude. Uh, if you take, if, I mean, if you take, if you take the time to give even the slightest fuck about me or anything I do here, then I have nothing but love for you. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of people who have anxiety, pro, who have anxiety problems and are first time smokers. So I, I can't say I specifically remember you, but I'm sure if you were to be a bit more specific, I would. Uh, anyway, yeah, dude, I love you. No, no bullshit. I, I love everybody until they give me a reason not to. I, I always, I always say, uh, I love what humans have the capacity to be. I just hate what they choose to be, you know? Most of them, anyway. So, uh, raccoons have arrived. That, that's, that's his name, not not a statement. Uh, raccoons have arrived uh, asks, uh, what is your opinion on attaining higher states using convention? Oh, high, like higher states of consciousness? Yeah, he asks, what is your opinion on attaining higher states using conventional methods such as meditation versus taking psychedelic substances? Well, first off, the conventional method is psychedelic substances. I mean, transcendental meditation wouldn't exist within our species had it not been for the psilocybin mushroom alone. So keep that in mind. Meditation without them is like cereal without milk. They go hand in hand. Um, so psychedelicless meditation is kind of half-asking it. And, and if you ask me, it's sort of pussyfooting just kind of dipping your toe in the water because without these substances you'll never be forced into facing true fear and darkness and having to prevail from that from all that disgusting gross shit within yourself because with sober meditation you're in the driver's seat the entire time you're in control of everything you can stop the whole experience at any point that you wish uh, and get off the ride whereas with things like lsd or mushrooms more so the natural si su the natural substances although keep in mind lsd and mushrooms affect the central nervous system almost identically there's very little difference between the two with regards to how they affect your mind. Um, but very rarely with those are, are you in the driver's seat. They have a lesson for you, and, 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 and your trip isn't over until they're done teaching you. Uh, even, even if they have to fucking beat it into you. And sometimes, yeah, yeah, it's very violent. And they'll chew you up and, and, and ragdoll your brain, and they're going to manhandle your consciousness ruthlessly if you try to fight it. But if you're good at meditation and just letting the experience happen and remaining calm and... and, and, and and understanding that you're that you're merely a student of nature and you don't know shit the experience is almost always very smooth and and keep in mind that i mainly only speak on mushrooms and lysergic dithelamide since since uh they're what i have the most experience with besides you know marijuana but keep in mind there's a ton, there's there's a ton of natural substances to experience for instance i'm i'm really interested in ibogaine i've been i've read some amazing stories about ibogaine and you know, also things like salvia divinorum, which you can get from a local shop. I have some salvia experiences. Um, there's many different forms of diamethyl tryptamine outside of just pure NN DMT and smoking it. Uh, things like ayahuasca. Um, but you know, we're getting into real shamanic substances here that you should have professionally distributed to you by a, by a good shaman, which I actually plan on doing in the near future. I think it's about that time for me. I think I've graduated. I think I'm at that point now. So I'm I'm I'm. I don't want to say I'm excited. I'm anticipating it. But yeah, uh, like I said, sober meditation doesn't really count in my book since you never really leave home base. You're just exploring and expanding on, on, on what you already know. And don't get me wrong, I, I have a history of sober meditation. That's how you force lucid dream states. But from my experience, it's not nearly as powerful as being you know forcefully propelled and launched into altered states and then using meditation as a tool once you're already there. So there's that. Uh, Michael Bowers, oh, that was a good question, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Michael Bowers asks, besides the past robberies that have happened, how has life in general been for you so far? Um, I don't know. I think I lack enough perspective to be able to answer that objectively. 
but I'm, I mean, I'll try. I mean, I could say it's been rough, but then again, I, I'm a white male living in America in, in 2013, 2014, so I have it easier than most. I, ha I, have, I have it easier than most human beings that have ever existed. Um, but that said, you know, I've lived in almost 40 states by this point. I, I've I've made so so I've I've made and lost more friends than I can even remember and I and I still lack the ability to really connect with people at least as well as others seem to it seems to be really natural for people to make friendships and bonds but for me I'm extremely antisocial I I had the social skills of a goldfish so school was never good to me uh, specifically the other kids in it kids can be a bit ruthless especially in your later years um dad left when I was 6 or 7 uh, and my mom got cancer at 15 and passed away at 18. Uh, but, but mind you, she was a hardcore opiate addict. Like she, like shit, like injecting heroin was normal for her. So I spent a lot of time in foster homes and stuff. Um, I spent the majority of my teenage life getting, uh, getting abused by my stepfather. You know, he would, he would beat the fuck out of me on a, on a regular basis. And he'd do evil things like, like steal my mom's medicine and either take it for himself while she was like, crying in pain due to the due to the cancer in her colon or or he or he'd go sell it for crack money and just be gone for days at a time when you know we needed him to take care of our mom and take her to radiation and do what we needed to do yeah, he'd, he'd steal our things while we were asleep and go sell that for crack money he'd he'd you know he'd touch my sister in her sleep he 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 was an evil person but luckily he's locked up now but I still get scared sometimes that he's going to come back around for me for some reason or whatever. It's fucked up. I know he's getting out soon, and, and that's that's fucking with me a lot. Um, but yeah, you know, I, that said, I, I've been I've been very wealthy to the point that I could have whatever I wanted, and I've been broke to the point that I've had to you know do things like go to other people's houses for fucking food. But I mean, I've I've achieved most of my dreams by this point. I, I picked up a local sponsorship. Uh, and toured around skating competitions for a year or two when I was 13 or so. And around that time, I found um, I found World of Warcraft, which led me into making a YouTube channel where I where I would eventually upload my entire life and and keep updating that. And I would and I eventually met you guys. Um, eventually, around 16 or 17, I started a small rap career, and I quickly got noticed by a lot of my idols. Uh, but that actually ended up scaring me more than anything, so I kind of went back into my hole on that one. And it, that was just, it was also just way too much pressure and stress at the time. But I got a few new pieces to upload pretty soon here, and I'll see where I go from there. I definitely want to keep it casual from now on, though, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, life's been okay to me. I definitely enjoy the experience more than I don't, I think. I, I deal with a lot of anxiety. And, uh, and stress because of it. I spend half of my days, you know, I spend half of my days convinced that I'm making everybody and everything up for the sake of my own consciousness's sanity, and that I'm really nothing that exists in nowhere. But, you know, I've, I've come to a point of acceptance with that. I mean, I still feel like I'm going to think too far ahead and blip myself out of this whole experience at, at any moment. Like, I'm going to think too far and, like, figure it all out and, like, unravel the whole game. But I'm done stressing over it. That's a lie. That's a lie. Uh, I, I still stress over it, but but not nearly as much as I once did. Um, I think I think a lot of me feeling alone and like I'm the only actual thing here is that is that when I meet people, they just don't seem as real to me. They don't seem nearly as real because it's like it's like they're putting up some kind of act. And I know I know most of them are, but when you've met the amount of people, just the sheer amount of people that I have. It's hard to convince yourself that everyone's just putting up an act. It eventually, it eventually starts to feel like some people are just not. They just aren't. Period. But I always feel like there should be more to people than what they're giving me, which is hard because I'm transparent with everybody. What you see is what you get. I, I, I can't stand fake. It scares the. It's. It scares me. Fake anything. I can't stand commercials, most advertising, period. I can't stand television or any news channel. I can't stand almost mainstream anything, really. Music, whatever. I can't stand these fucking plastic-ass YouTubers with no depth at all that just put these jump cuts between every fucking breath 
and, and upload every video with a with a with an obnoxious, colorful thumbnail and everything in caps. It just doesn't feel real to me. Like I feel like if I met that person, that's not how they would actually be. Yet they have hundreds of thousands, some some of them millions of subscribers and fans, and that doesn't help. That doesn't help me at all. It just makes me feel like I'm either making it all up or or I'm missing something that everyone else has that makes them enjoy this shit. So Yeah, I'm 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 also I'm also extremely bitter. Extremely very extremely bitter. When it, when I meet people who have a bunch of friends or who seem to be completely comfortable in this experience and they don't have to question it, like they have a religion or something to hold on to or 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 people that don't question it period like oh let's go party and drink up swag fucking i just i just want to go home when i meet those people i just i i have huge jealousy i have a huge jealousy problem when i meet people because i i i typically want to be like them i want to have a bunch of friends and 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 have it be a natural easy thing to add to that group and I, I want a big family. I, I want to have, I want to have lived in a place long enough to to have a history there, and, and people that have seen me grow and develop and stuff. But I feel like I've missed the boat on that. So yeah, now I'm just a, a very bitter person, and I'm angry towards almost everybody who I meet in my daily life. I'm so, I'm so fucking judgmental, which, which doesn't help the friend situation at all. So, yeah. Uh. Let's move on to a different question. Marcelo V. Rosanati, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, asks, what do you do for a living? Uh, I don't have a job. I just have stock investments. Uh, I also inherited my mother's trust fund after her death that she inherited after her mom's death, and I get a small distribution from that, but I don't really have access to it for another 20 years or so when I'm in my 40s. Um, yeah. Santaro Jr., uh, asks what are, what's some of your favorite music and new music that you like? Uh, I can go down my playlist for you real fast. Um, let's see. Fucking Afro Man, Afro Man's the shit. Uh, I got some Andre Nicotina. Um, got some Arrested Development, uh, Atmosphere. Uh, I like some of Bob's early stuff. Like I don't know if you li if you heard that last album he put out, but what the fuck was that shit? That was that was horrible. I mean, he's a great singer. I don't know what I don't know why he's using like auto tune and shit. That's I don't know, but I like his early stuff like Airplanes and Don't Let Me Fall. Um, Bare Naked Ladies, Beastie Boys, Beck. Uh, got some Bright Eyes tracks that I like. Um, got some self-titled stuff that I like. Lots of Sess Crew. Uh, Coldplay. I got some Coldplay tracks that I like. I got some Colin Hay stuff that I like from like the Scrubs soundtrack um i got some early common tracks that i like like testify and go and the people um lots of eminem most of his uh discography including all of his freestyles and stuff lots of unreleased stuff um got some idea tracks that i like um I like the Gorillas, especially their early stuff. Sad that they retired though, didn't they retire? I'm pretty sure they did. Um, Hootie and the Blowfish is awesome. Uh, lots of Hobson, uh, lots of Immortal Technique, lots of Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai, if you haven't heard about them, they're an awesome group from uh, Europe. I've never heard music like theirs before, it just feels good. I really like the feeling of their music. Um, and yeah, I've never heard anything like it before. Um, some of the Joker. Uh, I like some of Kanye West's early stuff from like college dropout and late registration before he became a fucking narcissistical... Narcissistical, is that a word? He became a crazy narcissist. And he thinks he's God and shit. And it's, it's pretty intense. I don't know what happened to Kanye. <laughs> um, I've got some Kid Rock tracks that I like. Some stuff from The Killers, some Chris Calico, uh, Less Than Jake, uh, some Lupe Fiasco, I like Matchbox 20, um, I like Modest Mouse a lot, I like some of their music, uh, some Nas, who else, um, 
Pendulum, Prodigy, 